It's in toothpaste and drinking water. Your dentist may offer it as an add-on service. So what is fluoride and is it safe? So fluoride is an incredibly abundant mineral. It's found naturally in almost every body of water, soil, rocks. It, it's the ion of the element fluorine, but it's pretty much ubiquitous in our environment. In the early 1900s, there was a dentist named uh, Dr. Fred McKay set up shop in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And the first thing he noticed was the, this kind of discoloration on the teeth of his patients, he had never seen this, so he set out to figure out what was causing this condition. This discoloration turned out to be fluorosis, white or brown spots on tooth enamel that occur from overexposure to fluoride. It's a side effect of drinking water with very high natural levels of fluoride. Dental fluorosis isn't harmful, and researchers noticed that it came with an upside. Patients with high levels of fluorosis actually had fewer cavities. There's an association between the level of fluoride in the drinking water and tooth decay. So on the one hand, in very high levels, there was, you know, this condition called fluorosis, but there was also much less decay in those areas. In areas where there was almost no fluoride and no fluorosis, and much higher levels of decay. That gave scientists an idea. If we could adjust the level of fluoride in drinking water to really mimic what we've seen in nature, we could get much lower levels of tooth decay while also having uh, very, very low levels of fluorosis. In 1945, Grand Rapids, Michigan became the first city in the world to add fluoride to its drinking water. Fluoride is added at the amount of 0.7 milligrams per liter. That's like stirring three grains of sugar into a liter of coffee. And more importantly, it's under half the amount of fluoride that can cause fluorosis. The experiment paid off. Just over a decade later, tooth decay in children had dropped over 60%. How? Fluoride strengthens teeth through remineralization. This natural process adds important minerals back into the teeth after enamel is degraded by acids like citrus or soda. Despite these results, not everyone is comfortable with the idea of adding something to our water. The accusations around fluoridation have changed over time. You know, everything from it being a communist plot to a way to get rid of, uh, of nuclear waste. But in reality, there's no need to worry. But the levels that we're exposed to through appropriate use of topical fluorides like fluoridated toothpaste and consuming uh, optimally fluoridated water, uh, no adverse health effects.